everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Real-time, high-resolution electron imaging could soon be a reality, thanks to a team at the University of Melbourne. Electron microscopy has been an important tool for doctors and scientists for decades, but the imaging process is too slow to capture changes in biological systems as they happen. This new breakthrough, published in the journal Nature Communications, reveals that temperature is the key. Extremely short, extremely cold bunches of electrons can be used to take sharp, high-resolution snapshots at the molecular scale at speeds capable of recording events that take only billionths of billionths of seconds to occur. The team from the University of Melbourne worked with researchers from the ARC Center for Excellence in Coherent X-ray Science. Now here's another story about an advancement in our ability to study life at the very smallest scales. Researchers at the University of Chicago have engineered a synthetic compound which they hope will allow them to better understand the principles of quantum biology. Though we don't normally associate the effects studied by quantum mechanics with life functions, they do play a significant role in biological processes. Previous research conducted by the University of Chicago demonstrated that photosynthetic antennae are able to maintain light in superpositions as it enters the system to be converted into chemical energy. Now scientists have engineered synthetic molecules capable of doing the same thing, allowing them to better study this incredible phenomenon. This synthetic compound not only allows us to increase our understanding of the role played by quantum effects in photosynthesis, it also demonstrates that science is capable of recreating the subtle, complex processes of life. Life is a wondrous thing, but there's nothing mystical or magical about it. Finally, scaling up from quantum particles to planets, NASA's Kepler spacecraft has discovered three new super-Earth-sized extrasolar planets in the habitable zones of their stars, including the most Earth-like exoplanet yet. The smallest of the new planets, Kepler-62f, is only 40% larger than Earth, making it the nearest to Earth size of any exoplanet ever found in a habitable zone. Kepler-62f is part of a five-planet system orbiting a star slightly older, smaller, and cooler than our Sun, approximately 1,200 light-years away in the constellation Lyra. Major advancements in the study of life on the smallest scale this week with breakthroughs in the fields of electron microscopy and quantum biology, plus new Earth-like extrasolar planets are discovered. That's the good news.